Welcome back everyone, Von Stickers here with another Stalker Gamma video for you. Today we're going to be looking at everyone's favourite subject, money. More importantly, how to make money in Stalker Gamma. Straight off the bat, there's no get rich quick scheme here. You do have to work for it, but that's life. So we've got a few tips for you just to make that journey a little bit easier for you. Hopefully this will help. All right, quick and easy money maker for you here. So what I do is set up my base in a place with a lot of people. So I've gone for the 100 Rads bar in Rostock and I've set my base up here, which is basically just a workstation, a box and a sleeping bag. And I store all my goodies in there. And then all you do, every time you come back from a mission, just talk to everyone in the room, ask them if there's any work they want done. Right, fracture hand. So don't accept it. You just go straight back, check your stash. Have I got any fracture hands? Yes, so you grab a fracture hand, come back to him, accept the mission, and then hand it straight in. 900 rubles. Okay, not great on that one, but it was free money, so we'll try the next one. Right, that involves going out, so we're not doing that. We're literally just here for quick and easy money while we're at base. Right, these are all deliver packages. I mean, you can accept them if you want, if they're going to be places where you're intending to head to already, but... We're just here for the quick and easy money. There's a lot of package deliveries today. Control the hand. So we go away, go to our stash, come back. Accept the mission. And then hand it in straight away. 8,900 rubles. Pretty decent. Search and rescue. No thank you. Deck of cards. Sadly, I don't have any of those right now. But as you see, you just work your way around. He wanted a flame artifact. I'm not going to hand over a flame artifact. Uh, signal check. And you're just looking for the ones that you can complete without even leaving the room. Of course, if you don't get many, you can always reload the game. Uh, and that will refresh the list of tasks that are available to you. So it's fairly random. This guy usually has a few. So battery artifact, I'm not giving you that. Have anything else? Go and get some documents. No. Flesh eye. Okay, so I think I might have that. So I go back to my stash. I check it. Yes, I have. I come back and I accept the mission. And then we hand it straight in. 1,950 rubles. There you go. So that was, what, over 10 grand within a minute. Nice and easy to do. Uh, so that's uh, one quick and easy way of making money. One little bonus I've found to doing all of the missions in the Rostock bar quick and easy is sometimes you'll get a mission to take care of mutants in the area like this one for instance so he wants some uh, mutants killed in rostock south of the road so all of these rostock kill mutants ones i'd recommend taking them because you don't even have to do them if you just wait at some point they'll get killed and you can just hand it in so even if you don't want to go out and do it yourself you can come back and just passively earn income from that so eventually the mission will complete itself and then you can just talk to the guy and just go, yep, the job's done. 6,100 rubles, didn't even have to do anything other than accept the mission. Pretty decent. So as you know, there's no easy money to be made from selling guns and armour because in this mod, unless you mess around with the actual settings, you can't sell guns and armour. But you can still make money out of weapons and stuff, so here's one thing you can try. If you get a weapon, you'll pick up loads of them, obviously. If you find one that's got a low-level barrel um, and low other components, instead of just leaving it, right-click on it, field strip, remove all. And that will take all the components apart from the barrel off. You'll have to do a full disassemble to get the barrel, and that involves a tool. It's not worth it financially, in my opinion. So you've got the parts off of it. Drop the gun. You don't need that anymore. As nice as it is, it's no use to you get rid of it then after a uh, trip out to the zone where you've killed quite a few people looted some stuff and all that you'll probably find you've got a nice little collection of parts at the end here and what you want to do is root through them and pick out all of the low quality ones I keep the best ones personally for replacing on existing guns but anything that's low quality get hold of those and go to the trader obviously you want to pick a mechanic trader here or engineer whatever you want to call them and sell them Remember the trick from the earlier video of holding down shift and just dragging your mouse across stuff without clicking anything. So you just hold shift and drag, drag, drag all the way across. Sell all of this. There we go. A couple of things to note here. You might find some don't sell. That's because they won't buy them if they're in zero condition. 
what you can do with those is right click and donate and that will possibly increase your reputation with the faction so you can do that I mean you can always keep them um, for manufacture or repair or other stuff uh, and then anything after that of course you can resell there you go you may have also noticed I sold some materials too now that's uh, a divided opinion on that some people sell them some people keep them and use them for repairs and things I don't bother personally you can nothing wrong with that but I just sell them so from that 8624 rubles just for the rubbish that we picked up stripped off guns and stuff so not bad not much money but a little bit of a bonus on your way back if you've got the carrying capacity another thing worth selling uh, from your plundered guns is the attachments always strip off the suppressors, scopes, grenade launchers, anything like that that you come across on the guns, whether you plan to use them or not. And sell any ones that you're not going to keep. I usually keep a stock of one or two of each, just in case I do want to build something. But then these can all be sold. So oh, again, damn. find a find a mechanic. And sell all of your attachments that you don't need. So just from one run out there. 29,699 rubles so not bad at all they do sell for good money so keep your eyes out for them there we go so stashes uh, you get stash coordinates given to you all the time off corpses off PDAs and all that sort of thing in the early game especially you want to be finding these as soon as you can so whenever you see them on a map nearby go for them because obviously you're searching for the the basic advanced and expert toolkits but you can get a ton of other gear as well out of them, so here's one we found. Let's have a look, what do we got? Okay, nothing too fancy, but uh, we did manage to find some armor and a couple of pistols. So, not amazing there, but it's some free gear we can we can sell. And uh, obviously you're looking out for your tools as well. Just a note on the stashes, the green ones take priority because they are a guaranteed spawn for some form of toolkit or other. So they're the, if you're looking for your toolkits, they're definitely the ones to go for, but try and hit as many as you can anyway. All right, well, thank you very much for sticking with us so far. And uh, as a little reward for sticking with us for so long, we're going to give you the top tip at the end now, so check this one out. Another way to make some good money is to come to the garbage and visit a guy called Butcher. Uh, I'll show it on the map, but he lives in here. So what you want to do is when you're out you'll obviously collect a lot of animal parts keep a few of them for missions and things as, as we showed in the earlier section of the video you can get missions in the bar and stuff or anywhere really but what I like to do is keep a stock of a few of those just for easy missions and then every now and again come and bring my surplus to this guy and sell them to him and as you're about to see we've got a fair old amount of uh, parts here and meat and things so we'll just sell it all to him we don't need it We've got way more than we need back at base, so all of this can be sold. And you will make a lot of money. 172,000 rubles, nearly 173,000 rubles just for some animal parts. So don't skip them, do harvest them whenever you can. And don't forget, of course, the top tip of always having a hunter backpack in your kit. Uh, and make sure the option is enabled within the mod settings for it. Once you've got that, you can make, get a lot more parts out of the animals, sell them here, tons of money. Okay people, we've come to the end of our little tips video for you today. I hope it really does help you earn a little bit of extra cash and give you a bit of a boost in Stalker Gamma. But thank you very much for watching and we will catch you in the next video. How do you like me now? You like that? Yeah! Get some! Get some!